Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on a glorious, oh, <laughs> I forgot what day it was, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. I feel much better today. I didn't even check the sleep app, but I think I slept all right. Kind of slept in this morning, yeah, I felt a lot better today. No stomach ache, no headache, well, the normal headache, but nothing too crazy. Uh, probably because I went back to carrying my full suitcase, which means I brought my two pillows. So there you go. So I feel better today. I had two meetings already. I had an absolutely delicious breakfast. So belly is full and I'm on my way to my last meeting for the day and then I'll be heading back to Virginia Beach. It is sunny and 73 here. Apparently, again, it's supposed to be in the 80s in Virginia Beach, which I will take. So I thought it was gonna be like a shit week. Obviously, you know, I was kind of whining a little baby yesterday and I didn't want to go out in this route and blah, 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 blah. And it, and it was perfectly fine. So as far as the channel goes, yesterday in, in my stomach ache induced ranting, I had talked about a bunch of shit, but I cut all that out because even I didn't want to hear my belly aching. Part of what I was talking about was what, you know, the things that I have always, at least in my melon, intended to do with this channel and I haven't ever really done them. And I have been thinking about that throughout the entire past, especially the past couple years, because I'm oh yeah, I'm gonna do this and I'm just gearing this up to get to get, get to this point, gearing up literally. And you know, now I'm talking about, all right, I've got all the gear that I could possibly want or need. It's finally the way I want it. You know, now I could just keep creating, you know, and then I'm churning out these shit videos where, you know, I, I'm, I'm giving a half ass effort and you know, they're not that great. But always in my mind thinking, well, right, instead of doing daily posts, I'm gonna do like one, one good video a week. And that's not talking head shit like this. It's like an actual video, like I really intended to do. But it's hard, you know, I'm thinking about everything that's involved with it. And, you know, since I'm a one man show, it makes it that much more difficult. And, you know, until I get my head out of my ass and I start working on my time management skills, that it's not going to happen. Not not the way that it is in my melon. So I'm brainstorming ideas. I'm, well, I'm always thinking about things. If, I, if you haven't been in this channel before or you hadn't watched any of these videos before where I talked about this, I see the world through a lens. I have for almost the past two decades. What do I mean by that? It means that everything that I see, everything that I do, every interaction that I have is done as if I'm looking through the lens on a camera. Meaning, if I meet somebody, or if I even just see a random person, I imagine a photo shoot with that person, or a, a video idea, to the point where I actually dress that person in the costumes or the outfits that I think would work well. When I'm driving all over Timbuktu like this, it's all a location scouting adventure. And I'm looking at things and I'm like, oh man, the, you know, that spot right there or that tree right there or, you know, whatever, that building or blah, 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 whatever it may be. I'm like, oh man, that would make a great place to do this idea. Ooh, and you know, and then I think back to people that I've come across. I'm like, man, she would have been perfect for that. Oh, and I got the perfect outfit and the perfect, you know, extras and, and props and all that kind of stuff that would be great. And and then, you know, and then I think up, you know, if it's if it's a photo shoot, you know, there's there's almost a uh, like a story behind it that that I'm just bringing together in in a few shots or it's an actual story that I'm bringing together for a short film. And I have done that for the past 20 years. I haven't acted on it too much, especially the photography, because you know how people annoy the shit out of me, and I've had very not good luck with certain people as far as doing photo shoots, so I kind of stepped away from that and then found my passion of wildlife, especially birds. So I've been doing that a lot, and that I had intended to do more video work with, but again, I'm a one-man show. I can only carry so much. My angry spine, I tax it almost every time I go out and I carry too much gear and then I end up being miserable and I end up not even shooting any video or taking any pictures or, or, or you know building any kind of a story whatsoever. So that's kind of where I'm at right now that I, I have grand ideas and lofty goals but I'm gonna have to figure out the logistics of actually working towards those goals. And 
it hasn't been easy, especially because my mind hasn't been all there. I've been I've been dealing with day job bullshit that has taken up a lot of space in here, and you know, and life in general. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're going here. So. When I'm driving back and forth like this all over my territory, I'm out two days, I'm driving several hundred miles a day, and sometimes I don't feel like listening to anything, I'm sick of the same music, I don't feel like listening to an audiobook, and I go inside my head. Now, if I'm in a good mood, and the sun is shining, where I go inside my head is a bright, wonderful, idea filled place where I'm, I'm on fire and, I'm, and I'm, things are just shooting through my head and I'm, I'm, I'm really coming up with some great stuff. Other times, like yesterday, when I have a stomach ache and a headache and I'm miserable and I don't want to be out and it's raining, then I go someplace a little bit darker and that's where I'm just like, eh, all my stuff sucks anyways, I might as well just freaking stop doing this, no one gives a shit, you know, I, you know, like why would anybody even bother to watch me, I can't even take the time to freaking do my videos right, and da da da, you know, so, I mean, I realized that that's life, you know, life is not always a, a, a nice steady climb up to the golden riches and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff, sometimes it's a, you're going up, and not only are you going up, but you're going up and it's rocky and craggy and the uh, shit's falling on you and it's slippery and it's raining and you're cold, you know, and then other times it's, it is a nice steady climb and you're meeting wonderful people along the way and you're having great conversations and the ideas are flowing and then other times you're going downhill and you're just like, oh, okay, this is nice because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not as hard. It, it's, it's very nice to just have a nice leisurely downhill and, and kind of takes the weight off and other times you're falling down a hill and you're hitting every root and rock and and dropping over cliffs and you know snakes are all around you as you're falling and you dropped your favorite you know this that or the other thing out of your pockets and there's no way you're gonna be able to climb back there and get it you know it's, that's just life i have a friend that's always like i just want a normal life i just want a normal life and i'm always like dude doc holiday man tombstone Wyatt, there is no normal life. There's just life. Now go out and live it. You know, and I'm constantly telling him that because that is life. Life's not always easy. Life's not a nine to five and you can just clock out and you don't have any worries and, and you know, oh yeah, I'm not gonna be fighting for money and I'm just gonna be doing an easy job and, and I'm just gonna get paid and I can go home at night, you know, to my wife and everything's gonna be peachy and, and <laughs> no. No, not now, not before, not ever. That's not how it works. You have to be able to deal with that. So yesterday, fortunately, with all my loving fans, I got my fucking head turned around so that I wasn't in that negative space. Then having a good night's sleep actually helped. A delicious breakfast, yeah. So today, everything's coming up Millhouse, and I can live with that. And I'll ride that as long as I can until the next hill, whether up or down, whether gliding or falling, and I'll deal with it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Just wanted to, to sort of get that out there. All right, so I'm just going to wrap this video up. There's really not much more I can say or show you uh, other than more road rage. And eh, we don't need to deal with that. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.